Okay guys, here here's the before and here comes the video. Okay world, how you doing? So SeaRefrigeration.com. Okay. Um this is a walk-in cooler evaporator. It's about three years old. And this is the one that if you've seen any of my other videos, uh it gets uh like hammered like every three to six months. It gets hammered with uh, cardboard boxes. They seem to tear in the cardboard boxes open here, the vendors or the guys or whatever. And anyways, and gets all full of dirt. Anyways, so <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys, restaurant owners, how you can clean your own evaporator Suck. if you want. Well, that sucked. That was my timer that went off. It shuts off my video. Well, that sucks anyway. So that's the upper right-hand corner of the evaporator in the back here. Here's your temperature sensor for the uh, 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 for the temperature control for the walk-in cooler box anyways so this is this side um, so that timer was set for five minutes I let this I sprayed the stuff on and the stuff that you want to use to spray on <coughs> okay is this is what I use is new bright okay works awesome I love it first you spray the uh, uh, walk-in cooler with a fill up your five gallon container your sprayer bottle with uh, hot water first you vacuum it first you vacuum using the furry head there's a vacuum right here and you you turn it off you turn the breaker off there's a power switch up there turn that off turn make sure the unit's not working outside then use the furry head here <coughs> and uh, vacuum <coughs> vacuum all the stuff off okay so first you vacuum it and then you hot water it with um, a bottle rinse all the stuff off um, and then you spray it with the spray stuff let it sit on for five minutes and then what you do is I'm gonna try and see if I can do this anyways Hopefully, um, so what you use is one of these brushes, um, and yeah, smush the stuff into the holes, into the coil. Okay, and then the fin spacing on these coils is about uh, eight, eight to ten fins per inch. You can tell in the model number. Model number this is, but about eight, about eight fins per inch. So these little, this is a plastic brush, so it doesn't damage anything. Never use a, a torch or always only use hot water. Always use a plastic brush or gentle brush. Uh, never use a wire brush. You know, you poke, you can poke a hole in the coil. So only use. Like the plastic, plastic, these plastic brushes just work killer for this. So you take it and you just scrape it up and down, being careful not, you gotta go up and down so that you, because the tubes run horizontal. And what you're doing is you're trying to get that dirt off of the tube. So. Anyways, you can see that it, after it's been on there about five minutes, it starts eating. And that new bright's real aggressive stuff, so make sure you, if you've got sensitive hands, you use uh, the gloves. And I don't, you know, I've been doing this 35 years, so pretty much I can cut my hand open and it don't really matter. So it's like you get a pain tolerance after doing this 35 years open. I got scars from cutting my hands open and putting stuff through my hand and you just you get over it anyways <coughs> so anyways that's so that's ready to rinse off and so you don't want to leave it on there uh, for too long anywhere in about 10 minutes um, and then now I'm gonna try to do this all right pump up your sprayer bottle See if I can put your sprayer bottle on top of a cart 
or use a garden hose and use hot water. Always use the hottest water you can get your hands on. And let's see if I can do this with one hand and trying to see. See kind of what it does. This is doing. First time I've ever tried to do this with an iPhone right up beside a coil. I've only got like shit. This one uh, coils only. There's a coil right here, and there's a wall. It's like I got enough, just barely enough room to stick my big ass head uh, between the wall here, and so it kind of sucks. I've got like maybe maybe 12 inches. Of, but anyways, you want to wash it down like that, and you just got to wash the shit out of it, so um, as you can see how nice it comes out. Ugh. Ugh, there's a mother of a freaking son. Fighting with shit on the walls here. Got <coughs> Well, sorry about that, guys. I, uh... Hopefully I'll be able to put this video together, but anyways, I'm catching my back on the, there's a freaking drain line that the guy, whoever put it in, put a goddamn pipe clampy thingy like this shit on the wall, and anyways, it sucks. So I need to catch my back of my shirt on this thing the whole time. I'm doing this anyway, so, but this is basically what I'm doing here. I need to re-pump up my sprayer a bit here. Okay. <clears throat> Hot water garden hose though. Probably would have been uh, maybe good on this one. If you can get it right off the hot water heater right at the bottom of your hot water heater you can get a uh, garden hose it'll chew up regular green garden hoses it won't work it'll blow them up that won't last for like they might last one time you use it but you got to get like I got these big heavy black garden hoses that I got from Granger's about shit I got them like probably 10 20 years ago they were 50 bucks a piece or something or Something like that, 50, 60, 75 dollars a piece. I think around 50, 60 bucks. But that's 10, 20 years ago. Black heavy, gnarly ass hoses, black hoses that I can run hot water through them all day long. I got tired of chewing up regular garden hoses. I'd use them a couple times and the things that just get a big old bubble in them and explode in the middle of a job and flood the restaurant. And yeah, it was a lot of fun, so. But uh, the black ones, man, are the way to go. They're just freaking gnarly. Um, but anyway, so you just want to you want to make sure you totally rinse off all that new bright because that stuff's real aggressive. And it's like a I don't think it's an acid. I think it's a base or whatever it is. I just know it works good. And uh, so you just. This coil wasn't real dirty, but I like to keep it real clean because this guy, he's real particular about his place. He likes everything in top-notch condition, which is really cool, so um, he knows the clean evaporators and clean condensers are, he, he likes them kept so they work good and don't cost him a lot of money to run. And that way he doesn't replace compressors all the time and have problems with getting to temp and, you know. He's been doing this a lot. He's, he knows. Anyways, so. But anyways, that's basically it. I just got to rinse it a little bit more. And I uh, so just want to show you guys I've never done a, like, actual hands-on. But it's harder than shit. So I know what you guys are going through. I got to get some other kind of phone or some kind of camera that I can put a magnet on the wall or something and if you guys have got some good ideas or pet and auto Jim if you can tell me maybe what you're using how you clamp it to the wall or how you make the good videos because you just set the thing and go to work and the thing's cruising so that's pretty cool so anyways Jim Petnato 
So anyways, but anyways, I think the thing's uh, coming out pretty good now. As you can see, all the dirt is off of the off of the tubes and that evap be pretty damn clean. She be clean. So like I said, when you, I've been cleaning this thing every six months for the last three years. It's been in for three years and just gets I keep vacuuming it and hosing it with water and if you stay up on top of it you can keep these things clean, you know, they'll work good like this. They'll they'll clean up real nice for you. Uh, then you don't have to fight with them, but if you do them every shit every five or ten years, like some of these people are, they've never done them. You just might as well <laughs> get to the point where <laughs> look at NorCal, some of the shit that he runs into that never been touched. You know, they gotta rinse the center of that one. That one's looking still got some foam shit in there. These phones, man, they can they can tell what's what. Anyways, you can see I gotta rinse this foot. I'll rinse that center section. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Let's see if I can I can do this. I wonder how waterproof this iPhone is. It's getting a lot of overspray on it from the hot water bottle here, but it's just a cover. I don't know. Uh, I got insurance on my phone, so yeah, I'm gonna use that ten bucks a month. There. I have to get one of those new Android phones that uh, you can pour champagne on it. So when I'm cleaning my evaporators with champagne, it'll be uh, it'll be good to go. Well, anyways, so uh, I want to show you that evap is coming out pretty good. We'll go from a uh, upper right all the way down the side here. Like I said, I've only got shit. 12 inches so I'm fighting with all kinds of stuff here. <clears throat> so you want to be a refrigeration man, huh? This is what you gotta freaking deal with, like the thing like <laughs> this far away from the wall. Here's a wall and my head's I'm in between here so you got acid spraying off of the coil, spraying into your face. Make sure you wear safety glasses, gloves, protect your skin your arms if you're sensitive to acid if you're cleaning spraying that stuff uh, I take no responsibility if you fuck up so uh, you gotta we're especially trained we've been doing this for years and years and trained by other people and gone to school and I gone to many many different schools technical schools carrier technical training school uh, train all kinds of different you know most of us are second or third generation our you know our fathers have taught us you know and you know you can learn all kinds of stuff as you've been doing that like I said I've been doing this 35 years so you got to be you know I might make it look easy but as a hell it's a difficult trade to be in you gotta be it'll kick your ass so um, anyways, I gotta rinse down this side that I can see I can got some scudge right over here. But uh, this did, that new bright did a pretty nice job, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get me some more hot water and do a nice little rinse. And if the coil's real bad, you gotta uh, take apart the drain. <coughs> this thing, there's no way. So you, what you gotta do is you gotta cut the drain, put a union in here. You gotta do all that shit. If you gotta take the pan off. Or, yeah, the only place you could do it is right here, so you'd have to cut it and put a union. I'm not going to probably take the pan off on this one because I don't think there's not that much shit. I keep this thing pretty clean, so. But uh, if I run into an issue, it's like the fucking bozo that put this thing in, he just put a slip coupling on it. He didn't put a union in, so. It's the difference between your jobs when you get some guy putting it in, charges a little more, he, you know does it right you know and we'll put a union so you can service the thing you know so uh anyways so just thought i'd uh show you guys uh all right so this is the deal all right cleaning a walking cooler all right like the video click like please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed all right uh take her easy bye